Okay, good evening. <coughs> Welcome to Awesome Mouse number 69. Awesome Mouse number 69. So we are we're talking about <coughs> fractions this morning, and especially we're talking about some one halves and one fifths. Yeah. Okay. So do you remember what one half was as a decimal? It was 0 0.5. 0 0.5. About one fourth. It was 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Very good. What about one fifth? What was one fifth as a decimal? 0 0.2. 0 0.2. About one twenty fifth. It was 0 0.04. 0 0.04. So the, <coughs> the powers of one half had powers of five. Yep. And the powers of one fifth had powers of two. That was really interesting, and it, <coughs> it came from the fact that we could turn these into powers of 10. One fourth, for example, is, if I multiply by 25 over 25, you get 20, 25 over 100, over 100 <coughs> which is 0 0.25. What do I have to multiply by here for 1 25th? Well, one twenty-fifth, it's, you can multiply by four over four to get two of power. Four over one hundred. So, <coughs> we like having equal amounts of twos and fives on the bottom. Yeah. Two twos, two fives, because it's a very nice easy decimal. Yeah. Okay. So, that leads to some interesting questions about things like, ooh. I don't know, 140th, for example. How do we figure out what 140th was as a decimal? Well, we need to get this to like a power of 5 on the bottom. Okay. We need to multiply by some number to get us to a power of 5 on the, on the bottom. Alright, <coughs> so what would you like to do? Well... I don't think we can actually get to a power of five on the bottom. Why not? Because you already have you have a four in. Ooh, interesting. So this is one over four times ten. Hmm, so, <coughs> so if we use some ideas of factoring, maybe that'll help. Does that give you an idea of what we can multiply by now? Well, we can multiply. We can multiply by four. We can multiply by 10. How is that going to help? Well, you just, you get, you get a 10 on the top. So you just want to turn this into 1 fourth by multiplying by 10? Well, but wouldn't it be, you had, you had a 0 under that number? Oh, you want to <coughs> multiply by 10 over 10? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. If I multiply by 10 over 10, I do get more powers of 10 on the bottom, but I still have this pesky little 4 to deal with. Well, you can multiply by something to... Well, you can multiply by something on the top to cancel it out. Like, a, on the top to cancel it out. Okay. What did we do with 1 fourth? We multiplied... It was... The 1 over... 4 became 25 over 100. So we tried to make it like a nice a number like maybe a multiple of 100. Okay. What we liked having was the same numbers of 2s and 5s on the bottom when we factored. This is 25 over 2 squared times 5 squared. Yep. Now when I have 1 40th, what do I have on the bottom? How many 2s? You have... A f you have a 4 and a 2 times 5, so that would make it 3, three twos. 2 cubed times 5. So then you need to multiply, to get the same number of 2's and 5's, you need to multiply by 25, so that 25 is 5 squared. Okay, so now I get 1 over 2 cubed times 5 cubed, on, and then with a 25 on the top. What is 2 cubed times 5 cubed? It's 1,000. It's 1, so 1 40th is the same as 25 over 1,000. And what's so that going to be as a decimal? 0 0.025. There you go. 
So this idea of getting the same number of twos and fives yeah. on the bottom leads us to finding really easy decimal representations for some numbers. Yeah. For some numbers. Not all numbers. Just some. <coughs> Just some. When you only have twos and fives, you get pretty good representations. Good? Yep. Yeah. Alright, that's tough, but, but uh, we'll get there. <laughs>